Hey guys, so today I'll be showcasing my uh, piece of gear. So today I'll be do so um, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I am very bored and and I complain a lot for having way too much stuff in my room, even though I've never used them. So I might as well just uh, make this video on my Brody helmet. So. So I'm not gonna put any historical facts, but oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna like talk about the history behind the helmet, but I will talk about some historical facts if necessary. So I first, so this was actually one of my first ever purchases back in 2019. So this was like around three years ago. So um, this was like an online purchase, actually my first purchase off of eBay. And though uh, I don't, I, I am glad I had this helmet. Looking uh, like back at it, I wasn't really in the right state of mind. What I mean is, at least financially. So, yeah, and I think all this purchasing off of eBay has led me to be a bit more, mm, well, not in the right place in mind. Even to this day, I'm trying to recover from all this collecting nonsense. So, Hey, I know some people will ask you why am I like showcasing this, and the reason why is because like I like I said I was bored and I wanted to just make use out of this one because I don't want to keep it in a storage bin and do nothing, even though it's gonna be in storage. Well, so yeah. So first you'll see is the is the is the rank. So I think this was like a sergeant. Sorry, I don't. Sorry, I might forget about. So yeah, um, um, I taught this so. The reason why I bought this because of the sergeant, and I think I bought this like for fifty bucks in twenty nineteen. It was it was before they had the stupid tax stuff. So yeah, so yeah. Um, I I mean yeah, I mean um, I mean it's actually pretty good. I mean yeah, it's not real, but I do like how how they add it because it does add uh, a little bit more history to this helmet. As as even if it's not official, it can see you also see some uh, some dirt in it, which is not a big deal. And for the helmet color, um, it's actually uh, it's a green color. And the one thing about U.S. helmets is that that the color of the helmets, I mean, the color of the helmets can vary can vary greatly. Um, I see helmets are like uh, brown. Some helmets like or like. Um, to have this grayish color well this one has green and i think this could be like world war ii or world war one i'm not really sure and the reason why i say world war ii is because when you look uh, underneath um you have this uh liner okay this is actually a hold on let me get this so this is actually a reproduction liner from uh, prairie flowering lettering company which um uh, i heard they make one of the best quality uh liners quality like gear and stuff so i mean i it looks pretty good and but i would like warn you that if you are a reenactor um their prices has gone up uh significantly so yeah i probably would tell you to go somewhere else but whatever so yeah um i uh i think uh, around the end of 2020 i think around the end of 2021 2022 i think it was like early 2022 that i got this off of the guy and, and originally, this was supposed to be my reenactor helmet, you know, the time when I wanted to be a reenactor, but, um, but I ended up getting another helmet with the same liner, and so this was probably just serve as, like, a display piece, so, yeah, I ended up buying another one, even though I already got this liner, but whatever, I mean, at least I can, I don't have to paint over this, uh, the, the low, the, the insignia, yeah. So yeah, so this was not meant to be, so before that, it it had like a, a sheet for the liner, and this was originally supposed to be like a, the M1A1 Kelly helmet, as I know it's because it had like the sheet in it, and, and of course I did remove it, and, um, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say, so yeah. The liner is, is really good quality, very good quality, um, quite comfortable. It, uh, this one, I think this was like, uh, 
oiled in canvas or something. I, I don't really know specifically. And, and, um, yeah. The only thing I can complain about this liner is that the, the lettering is, are not, like, authentic. As I know, uh... I know it has a like much different one, so this one just just look weird. And it's also it's not evenly spaced, so yeah. And yeah, if you I also uh, lastly that this one was uh, another thing you can tell is a like, Kelly helmet is that it's the screw, which uh, World War One Brody helmets don't have. But I decided to keep this one because I want because I was thinking of like uh, changing the liner. So yeah. In conclusion, um. I'm quite glad I got this one, even though it did lead to some consequences in my life. But I don't think, I won't blame on this one particular. I blame on the other types of stuff I collect, which I will not name. But yeah, it's a pretty nice piece of gear. And I'm probably going to keep it as long as I have space for it. So yeah, bye.